Hello guys and welcome back to Watch Addiction. Today we're going to be taking a look at a new release from Havan Tuvali. Now this is the 800 meter dive watch that they uh, recently released in a few different color variations and I have one of them to show you here today. I have been testing it out and this is the Code Zero Negative Six Diver, the Orca model, which is the black version and it comes with a few different strap options it comes with kind of that marine national kind of you know elastic para you know the parachute uh you know type of strap that's becoming kind of popular now also comes on the stainless steel bracelet but i opted out for the actual uh rubber strap which it comes with on a nice uh nice little clasp there with a um nice little safety fold over which is signed and i actually had to size it myself so i actually cut out uh, parts of the strap. There's little slots where you cut and that's how you size it and it's really comfortable. It's not rubber, it's silicone, but it definitely gets the job done. Now uh, let's get in a little closer and see what you actually get with the watch. Let me just get the watch out of the way. It does come in this nice genuine leather as you can see. It does say Havantuvali here. Very nice. Nice stitching here and all around you know it's a nice little nice little package here. Um, it's pretty cool. So this basically unzips and inside you do get a nice little spring bar remover. You get your warranty card and then your straps come in there as well. So um, yeah, a nice little, you know, something, you know, especially, well, it's not so high priced. This watch sells for about 550 US dollars. But I'm just gonna show you the stainless steel strap here. As you can see, it comes with a nice solid 316L stainless steel uh, strap here. Um, nice little fold over here and we do get a nice milled clasp get some micro adjustments here and it is using the pin system I do know the squadron actually used uh, I believe that one had screws that one I reviewed but this is actually using the pin system it's a definitely a good quality bracelet though you know solid end links uh, as you can see it's very highly polished on the outside brushed on the inner part of the links and uh, I was just definitely feeling the rubber though, so that's why I went for that. The final strap it comes with is one of these new type of elastic straps, um, which personally I'm not a big fan of. I, um, you know, especially for a diver, I either want it to be on a rubber strap or a, um, you know, kind of a bracelet. I'm, I'm a pretty much a bracelet guy, but I do like rubber sometimes if it works with the watch. Um, you know, this is cool if you like that. They even signed to Von Tuvali there. But, um, yeah, just not for me, that one. But uh, this is the actual watch right here. And uh, let's get into it, guys. So basically, this is their new 800 meter diving watch. Uh, it's a pretty cool looking watch. It's kind of in the same case shape as the Squadron, which was their previous release. Um, so it's uh, water resistant to 800 meters. Obviously, we have a screw down crown. The crown's located over at two o'clock, which is kind of different from your normal watch. And, you know, he kind of strives to be different from other brands and his own unique style and design. Um, it's in a 43 millimeter case, so it's really not that big. I mean, the lugs are kind of short, as you can see here. So we have 43 across, and in terms of thickness, we're looking at 15 millimeters. It, uh, it might seem pretty big, but it's really not that big. Uh, my wrist is not that big, and it definitely fits me pretty nicely. Now in terms of lug to lug, we're looking at 52 millimeters. We do get a unidirectional rotating bezel. It's a 60 click bezel, uh, which is something a bit different actually. And first, let's get that out of the way. There are definitely solid clicks here. And everything does line up to the uh, 12 o'clock position just fine. As you can see, the bezel insert is kind of done in like a matte finish. Um, it's not a super, super dark black. It's definitely like a light, light black, but it definitely matches the dial nicely. Now inside of this watch is the Solita SW290-1. It's a Swiss made automatic movement. It's, uh, it's pretty reliable, about 40 hours of power reserve. It's a very good movement. It does have a date feature, but it's not you know shown through the dial here. So you will kind of get that you know ghost date feature there which some people might not like. It doesn't really bother me. Now in terms of the actual dial, um, there's some pretty cool stuff going on here. As you can see, everything is printed. Um, everything is loomed as well. I'll get you guys a nice loom shot towards the end of the video. 
We have these nice big hands here filled in with nice loom here. Sub second style over here, which is a bit different. And then over here, let me zoom in a little closer. As you can see, we have a temperature indicator uh, going around right here, which is pretty cool. So basically it's in Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Um, so you can tell the temperature if you're underwater or you're outside in your car, wherever you may be. Uh, you can kind of get an idea of what temperature it is and it does work pretty good. I have tested that out. So the crown over here is actually signed uh, Havantu Valley as you can see right there. The case itself is completely brushed on the sides. Helium escape valve located over here because this is an 800 meter dive watch. Uh, very kind of thin coin edging on this bezel here. The lugs themselves are polished. That is the only polished part of this watch. Now the crown unscrews. It's a really nice pop just like the squadron. As you can see you have a long pop there. And the first position is the uh, self winding position. Real buttery buttery smooth. And then you can pull it out one. Then you have that rogue date. And the final position is the hacking position, as you can see. Uh, this has come to a stop right here. We can set the time. I, li I do like those hands. They're nice and uh, very broad. Screw that back in. Very nice crown function. Now the strap, this is the rubber strap as I was stating. Let me zoom back out a little bit. This is the rubber strap as I was stating. It's a pretty nice strap. I mean, it even comes with a nice you know, little deploy in here. Uh, with a stamped clasp, but it's the tougher kind. You do get three micro adjustments as well. And it is signed on the buckle, as you can see right here. But it's real solid, you know, and it's just really comfortable. Definitely has some thickness to it as well, and it's real flexible. Uh, especially, you know, when it's hot out. I mean, it's not hot out now, but, you know, if I were to be in a hotter climate, I think it just looks really nice on this uh, black uh, dial and bezel insert here. So the actual loom that is on this watch is C3 Super Luminova, and it's definitely no joke. It's definitely a real strong point of this watch. It's uh, really bright. So basically, this is all lit up over here, all these markings. The hands are lit up. Even the little hand on these sub-seconds is lit up as well. Now the case back, let's get in there. As you can see, the case back is uh, screwed down, of course. It's uh, kind of a circular brushed finish. And you do get your number on there. There's only 100 models or 99 I should say, of each color. So I believe there's four or five different variations. And you kind of get the little helmet there, the old school diving helmet. It does say Tuvali code zero negative six diver. And the water resistance is stated, as well as the Swiss movement, which is pretty cool. Very simple, you know, I think it's good. And um, I want to throw it on my wrist, show you guys really what it looks like on my wrist. And uh, I'll be right back. Now here's the watch on my 6.25 inch wrist. And as you can see, for a 43 it fits pretty nice. It fits fairly snug to the wrist. As you can see there, it's a nice genuine sapphire crystal. I believe it has an undercoating of AR coating, anti-reflective coating, which definitely helps. It de definitely gives off some blue vibes when the sun hits it, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, the rubber strap, I really like it. Um, you know, some people really like bracelets. I like bracelets as well. I might even swap it out, but for now, I think the rubber strap is doing a great job. And um, yeah, there it is on my wrist. And if I didn't mention, the lug width is 22 millimeters. But um, yeah, you know, it fits, you definitely feel it on the wrist. It's not a small watch. It does have some heft to it, but it's not so overwhelming, you know? It's uh, just, just fine, I think. Now next I want to get you guys a nice uh, loom shot, and I'll be right back. Here's a nice loom shot of that C3 Super Luminova as you can see, and it's definitely really bright, even at all angles. I mean, the hands are, I would say, definitely stand out a little more, but um, everything is super legible. So there it is, the Havantu Valley uh, Code Zero Negative Six Orca. And you know, for $550, I think you're getting a lot for your money. I mean, you do get a nice genuine leather pouch, you get the strap options, a spring bar tool, and it's running a Swiss made Solita movement, which is not cheap. It's basically the equivalent of an ETA automatic movement uh, with a date. And you know, it's a very reliable movement. It's easy to service. You're not going to have any problems with it. This one has been running plus two seconds a day uh, pretty consistently. And I'm pretty amazed by that. 
Um, like I stated in my written article on WatchAddictChannel.com, I'm assuming he regulates the watches. I know he puts them together himself, uh, the owner of this company, uh, which is pretty cool. So he definitely knows what he's doing. And um, definitely, you know, definitely put out a pretty decent product for the money. I mean, there are some other smaller brands selling watches with Solitas and ETAs for like, you know, five, I would say six or seven, it can go up to even in the micro brand level. And um, I think he offers a lot. You know, you get all you get the nice bracelet, which is not a low quality bracelet. You um, you get a warranty, which is pretty cool as well. And he's a pretty cool guy, so um, definitely check it out. Uh, I did write an article. You can check down in the description below for the full written article with some detailed pictures as well. And um, yeah, so that's pretty much going to be it. You know, all in all, I think uh, there's a lot of positives. Um, not many negatives, I would say. Uh, if anything, only negative, I would say the bezel action is kind of a little, you know, it's not like amazing. It's definitely usable. As you can see, it works fine, but I think it could be a little better. That's about it. Um, everything else is pretty spot on here. I really like, I really like the temperature indicator. That's definitely something new for me. And it's quite useful. Uh, it really is quite useful. Love the movement. Love the buttery smooth operation of this uh, Solita. And I think he's doing a great job. I will leave, I'll drop a link to my blog article. And uh, you can check him out at HavanTuvali.com, which is uh, his website, uh, where he sells these watches. So that's pretty much going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this review of the Havan Tuvali uh, Code Zero Orca. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take it easy. Bye.